What's cracking, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get this show on the road. I'm not, I'm not feeling my best today, so we're going to keep it real short and real sweet. Today, we're going to give you three things you need to be focusing on to help you close leads into clients on your first phone call. That's what's important because as a content creator, when you get the client on the phone, you need to be able to close them. You need to be able to talk to them and tell them what they want to hear so that you can turn that lead into a client. And today, that's what we're talking about. Let's roll that intro. listening to content and cash a flash film academy podcast if you want to learn how to take pretty pictures this is not the place but if you're ready to make a living by learning the business behind the camera buckle up because it's time to turn passion into profit with your host ty turner What's really good, if this is your first time listening to this podcast or on this channel, this channel is about the business side of content creation. Other channels help you spend money. We actually help you make it. And it's brought to you by our free capture and convert kit that can be found over at flashfilmacademy.com. If you're watching on YouTube, I mean, if you're watching on Instagram, Instagram only, and you comment CNC, the letter CNC in the comments, I will send it to you. All right, there you go. Wham, bam, let's get right to it. Um, so I want to talk about a few things because as you are, as you are working with clients, you need to, you need to start doing this. You need to start doing this with everybody. You need to practice these techniques. You need to be good at it. And you need to make sure that you're doing this with every single person you talk to. I have, I, I get just, you know, I get it going. It's, it's in my memory. It's muscle memory for me at this point. So it's something that you need to write down, pay attention and learn. All right. So get your pen and paper. Or you can save this video and come back to it, and we're going to talk about it. But if you need more detail, I go over this heavily in Module 2. Module 2 talks about the proposal, the phone call, things like that. Okay, we got some people in the house, Montreal. We got Plano. All right, all right. I see it. I like it. So we talk about that a lot in Module 2. And module two is the module where we focus on proposals, the first phone call, the follow up phone call and the customer service side of your business. So I want to make sure that uh, you guys understand that. But first things first, let's get to three steps and let's talk about these three steps. So, you know, because I'm going I'm going to punch you in the throat really quick and then I'm out. All right. Because I'm not 100 today, but it's all good. I'm here for you. First things first, we need to do is we need to identify their specific needs. This is very important. This is very important. It's not about calling them to tell them what you do, the service you offer, yada, yada, yada. Nobody, nobody cares about the features. They, they care about the benefits, right? So begin the call by asking open-ended questions to understand the, the perspective of the client's business, their objections or objectives and any challenges they may be facing, right? These are times where I found, I'm going to tell you, I am the, the king of turning a $500 TikTok, uh, uh, thumbtack job into a $10,000 thumbtack job simply by asking the right questions and understanding the challenges they may be facing and understand the stuff they went through when they hired the last guy. Because this approach helps tailor your solution to their specific needs. For instance, if the lead is looking for Uh, is looking to enhance their brand visibility, you can discuss how your unique storytelling and cinematic techniques can capture their brand's essence um, and, and connect emotionally with their target audience. Emphasize on how your service can solve their problem or fulfill their need rather than focusing on the technical aspects or specific or or specifications of your equipment. So many people, so many people want to talk about 4K, 8K, all of this. Your client don't care. What your client care about is what you can do for their business using all that crap that you went out and bought. That's what they care about. All right. Number two. And if you got questions, go ahead and post them. I'll get to them as soon as I run through here run through the the top three because we're going to make this short and sweet. Number two is something that is very important that I think a lot of my content creators do not do. You've never heard of it. You've never done it and demonstrate the value in ROI, the return on investment. Business clients are, are primarily interested in return on the investment. They don't care about all the glitz and glamour and stuff you do, right? You don't care about what your marketing company got to do to bring you business. Just bring me business. 
do whatever you got to do so I can pay this 1000 and I get 10000 back worth of business. Clients don't care about your gear, how passionate you are, how many sliders you bring in. They don't care about the stabilizer. They don't even care what you're using. If you can pro- provide me a return on investment with a cell phone, then do it. Clients care about ROI and how your services can contribute to their success, period. Period. Offer concrete examples or case studies on how your work has helped similar businesses. Don't show me a different business. Show me a business that's similar to mine. That's why I tell you guys to live within your niche. And and show me how your work has helped similar businesses achieve their goals, such as increased engagement or, or reaching a broader audience or enhancing a brand's image. Discuss your approach to, to translating their vision uh, into a compelling narrative that drive results. That's how you should be talking. Make sure you articulate the value of your services in terms of business outcomes, right? We, we're going to do this to get that. And, and things such as lead generation, extremely important, right? Conversion rates or brand loyalty rather than just, you know, artistic t- uh, techniques or talking about the quality of your work is the most important thing. On Instagram, I always get people try to join my doggone live kick rocks. Anyway, so we want to make sure that we are showing the the benefits of what we offer and not the features. We're not hung up on 4K, 8K camera jargon because your client don't care. What your client do care about is how this will help their company and help their business. All right. Let's get to the last but not least. Um, offer a customized solution with a clear call to action. Customized solution with a clear call to action, right? A lot of people don't do this. They say, okay, we'll get back with you. All right. Make sure your your call to action is clear. And this is why it's important to live within a niche because if you got to create this from scratch with every client, good luck. One, your your proposal won't be as effective and it won't be as good. You got to live within a niche so you understand what their audience needs. So after understanding their needs, and showcasing your value, propose a, a customized solution that specifically addressed the points you discussed. That's why there are no objections if you go over their objections during this po- point of your phone call. This could be a tailored package with services that align with their goals and budget, right? Sometimes, and let me tell you, I, budget is touchy, right? I I, ba- I don't I don't like asking what's your budget. Anybody who follow me know I'm not an ask what's your budget type of guy. If you want to get it done right, this is what it costs. I know because I work with my target audience, I work within my niche, I know what they have to play with, and I know where my price sits within that within that niche. And this is what it costs to get done what you want to get done. This is what your competitors are paying. This is what you're going to pay. This is definitely what you're going to pay. Go ahead, hit that uh, thumbs up button real quick. I'll give y'all a few minutes. Um, so you want to be clear. You want to make sure that you're... You, you are tailoring this package of services. It aligns with their goals and budget, not yours, their goals, right? You don't know what their goals are if you don't ask those questions. Be clear and concise about what you're offering, including timelines, deliverables, and pricing. I don't do no guest pricing. We do a lot of upfront structure-based pricing. In the call with a strong call to action, just like you do on your website, you have, to, you have to have a strong call to action, encouraging them to take the next step. Don't just say, I'm going to put the ball in your court. You know, this could be setting up a meeting to discuss the project in more detail, a proposal, uh, a presentation, or a site visit. Make it easy for them to say yes by offering a clear path forward and addressing any potential barriers to close the deal. I am going to find out whether or not you're kicking tires or you buying as soon as possible because I need to disqualify you and I need to go to the next person. By focusing on on these strategies, you position yourself as a valuable partner who understands their business challenges. That's why niche is so important. So many photographers and videographers want to sell video and photo, but they're not a business partner that understand this business's challenges. If you look at some of our beta client connect series, every single a uh, beta client on there, every single business owner said their biggest problem when it comes to hiring photographers and videographers is they don't know my business. They don't know the difference between this or that. They have no understanding of my company. They just know photography and that does not help me. That's why a lot of them feel like it's easier to learn photography 
and they go out and buy a camera than it is to bring somebody in who understand their business because they've been doing a business for 20 years and people have the mindset that content creation is a one button push and it's more than that. All right. So let's talk about, um, and, and that's, you know, you, you want to make sure that you want to make sure that you understand that. Now, all of these philosophies, they line up with the Flash from Academy philosophy of teaching photographers and videographers how to transform your business from B to C to B to B, right? It's all about solving problems. It's all about understanding that businesses care about ROI. People care about how it makes them feel. They care about the emotional side of the, the, the purchase. Businesses want to see results. They want to see what this can do for them, how this can help them, how it can solve their problem. And if you're not displaying that consistently, you're not going to be in business long or you're going to have a hard time growing your business. Big checks come from solving big problems and you can better quality don't always solve big problems. Better gear don't always solve big problems. There are big companies that are solving problems with cell phones on TikTok with user generated content. It's happening way more than you think. In fact, moving forward, the amount of gear you need is getting less and less. You need to understand that that problem solving is the future of content creation, not cinematic images, because everything is producing cinematic images. Everything. Just one click cinematic images. So the future of, of being in business is solving the problems of your clients. And that, my friend, is all I got for you today. That's all I got. So I want to make sure that you all understand. You get it. You're putting it to work. You're implementing it. And, you know, you understand what's, what's happening in the business. Again, I'm going to say it once and I'll say it every single time. Every business around you, every, every, every plumber, every beauty salon, everybody around you needs content. They need it every day for every single platform. Why aren't they hiring you? When you're ready to answer that question, download the Flash from Academy app and join today. See y'all next week. You've been listening to Content and Cash, a Flash Film Academy podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and go to our webpage at www.flashfilmacademy.com.